Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Last match of the day here on centre court on the banks of the Murray River. First onto the court, we see Jet Rocker Graham and Adam Fayesh closest to you on the screen. On the other end of the court, number one seeds, Ben Shikinga and Harley Sinclair. This is the boys under 19 division, in the second round of the Australian Junior Beach Volleyball Tour. Thanks for joining us on the Oz Volley YouTube page. Wherever you are viewing from around Australia and the world, thank you. We appreciate your support for the tour in this competition. First serve underway, targeting Adam Fayesh, and he gets up through the uprights of the big Sinclair block, gets a good turn and touch, and Shikinga saves that ball. Again, adjusting that big first point here. And Rocket Graham finds the open court to get the first point done and does it finally. What a start to this final match of the day here on center court. Four courts in full swing on the banks of the Murray River. Here separating Cobram and Baruga. Bayesh to serve. Going on the big man, Sinclair. He gets up. No block and sends a wide. 2 0 scoreboard. On Sinclair once more, steps in, tags the sideline. Nice little shot there. Tough serving from the young Adam Vayesh. We spoke to his older sister earlier who was crown champion of the Cobram Baruga Classic here on the weekend. Yesterday afternoon, 17-year-old super sensation from Manly Beach, New South Wales. So they serve on Fayesh. Snap hard into the block. Really smart play there. Utilising the big left hand of Sinclair. Both teams from New South Wales. Different age groups. Harley and Ben on the far side of the court. Both 18 years of age. And Shikinga sends that long and the boys closest to you on the camera, on the screen, Fayesh and Rocker Graham, who's back to serve now. Both 16 years of age, battling it out in the older age group. 4-1 scoreboard, going on Sinclair again. Fayesh gets a big scoop down the line. Over the net, it goes. Big swing. Fayesh is there again. Rocker Graham, pokey on two. Diving play by Ben. Point continues. Can Rocket Graham get it done here? Cross court deep in the court. Oh, no way. A ball comes on and interrupts the rally. That is incredible stuff, though. The defense from Adam Fayesh in the backcourt. So, so good. That is confidence building. Regardless if there was a point on the line or not, to get so many scoops in one rally so early in this match, really positive signs. So 4-1, replay of the point. Back on Sinclair. Transitions in. Shot's good. Adam Fayesh gets a touch, but the shot had a lot of pace. So two serving four. She can go back to serve. And that ball goes into the net. We go around for the first end change. Three serving four. Number one seeds trailing at the early stages of this first set. Switching ends for those new to beach volleyball. Multiples of seven, allowing for no advantage out there on center court. First two sets are 21 points. The third and final set, if need be, will be a race to 15. Is there an ace serve in the corner from Ben Schickinger? Yeah,
mis-executed skill there from Sinclair. So a two-point buffer now for the young guns. Adam Fayesh and Jet Rocker Graham joined in the commentary booth by some Australian volleyball legend. He's a two-time Olympian, Mr. David Beard. How are you, sir? Very well, thanks, Ben. Yourself? I'm well. I'm well enjoying uh, this tremendous volleyball and this, this backdrop that we have on the Murray River. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful location, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, the sand's hot. The volleyball's hot. It's um, just a great place to be. Not bad. Not a bad office. So one of our head coaches at the Australian Volleyball Academy recently moved down. He's Mate, you've skipped all over the country. You've you grew up in WA and you made your way across to Port Macquarie, another beautiful part of the world. And you've gone down to Canberra now and you're inspiring, guiding the next generation of athletes. Yeah, it's um it's a bit of a privilege really to be able to um yeah, be involved with sort of that next generation of athlete coming through and um yeah, trying to impart some knowledge on them and really just trying to help them achieve their dreams and become great people and great volleyballers. Um we can give back to the sport, whether they make it to the top level or not. Um, you know, we, they've all got dreams of, of making it to the top and hopefully um, we can see a few of them get there. Absolutely, mate. mate. If there are uh, half the men you are, I'm sure it will be beneficial to <laughs> their careers and their lives, mate. Fantastic stuff out here. Um, all the athletes from New South Wales on centre court as we speak. And you've had a personal hand in some of their development, um, in the past 12 months uh, at the Youth Nationals last year? Yeah, look, again, had the, the privilege of coaching Harley and Harley Sinclair and Ben Shichinga, um last year through the AY, to the AYBVC. Uh, great, great, great athletes, great kids, lots of potential. Um, hard, lots of height. Lots of height. Yeah. Hard workers. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see where they end up in the next few years, that's for sure. Absolutely. So, like we said, all four from New South Wales. We've got Harley based down with you now at the Australian Volleyball Academy in Canberra. Uh, he's only a new recruit, um, part of the latest batch of athletes to jump in. Is he holding down the, the training schedule? Is he, is he uh, you know, coachable, one of the more coachable athletes? Or is he uh, still working his way in? No, he's very, very coachable. Always has been. He, he's a student of the game. He thinks it, thinks it through a lot. He's very willing to try stuff. Uh, you know, big adjustment for him. He's still at school, so he's had to change schools, um, get used to the training full time. Absolutely. Now we're on tour to these events. Uh, so there's a lot for, lot going on for him, but he's a very, very level-headed uh, guy, and I'm, he's just taking it all in his stride at the moment. 100%. That was going to be my next comment. He's, he's, for his age, he has one of the steadiest heads on his shoulders, and he comes down and he just goes about his business. Um you know, whether there's an error, whether there's a big play, it's it's the same sort of reaction. It's just making sure he gets the job done. And he's not the only Sinclair down in the uh, ABA. He's joined his older brother in uh, Kiefer Sinclair. Chief Kiefer is his name. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, Kiefer's been there for 12 months. And, um, yeah, he's really grown as an athlete and as a player uh, in that time. And um, so probably for Harley, it's been nice having his brother there. Absolutely. It's a familiar face. But, you know, Easy to adjust. He, yeah, but he's making his own stamp on it. Um, as well, uh, both both very talented athletes, love their volleyball, and um, yeah, it's just great to be able to watch both of them play here today. Absolutely, we've got a very tight match in this first set here, so it's 11-9, the number one seeds have clawed their way back, they were being pushed by the youngsters of Fayash and Rocket Graham, I don't know if you saw just before you came to the commentary booth, an epic rally out there, Adam made two unbelievable digs from huge, heavy Sinclair swings. As we see a Sinclair right arm throw that ball back and Adam just stays on the ground, a pokey drop shot there. But even these two young kids, these young guns, we go to the technical timeout with a score, one point difference, 10 points serving 11 as they come out of the break. But even these two young athletes, are they future AVA athletes? What do you guys look for down there at the academy? Oh, absolutely. Uh, look, this is, to be honest, this is my first year at the academy. Uh, so I haven't really been part of the full cycle of, of athlete selection. Um, we are looking for the next generation of beach athletes. That, that's a big priority of Absolutely. the ABA. Um, and definitely New South Wales in that under seven, uh, yeah, under 17 age group, the, yep. where these yep. guys are, is a very, very competitive, strong age group. Yeah, a lot of depth. Uh, a lot of depth. Huge depth. Very competitive kids. They... Um, love to learn, they love to push themselves, push each other. Uh, so I guess, obviously, you, 
you look in talent ID, you look for the physical attributes, height, strength, power, uh, but you're also looking for the, the little X factors, those kids that want to train extra hard, that, that they'll put in the extra hours, that they, even little things like thanking the refs and being good sportsmanship, you know, those sorts of things. We're, we're looking for the all round athlete. Yep. Um, uh, not just the physical um, side of things. Absolutely. And you spoke about the tall timber, but even some of the shorter athletes, prime example is Damien Schumann. You know, he, one of the smallest athletes on the Australian tour and potentially around the world as well, as we see Harley Sinclair Ooh. open up the right shoulder down the middle of the court. A lovely start to out of the technical time out there. So a 10-12 scoreboard. But yeah, Damien Schumann, one of the shortest athletes in the world. Uh, our most recent Olympian to represent us at the Tokyo Games last year. First time in 13 years we had a men's team, men's pair. Yep. And we just know that this sport is growing beach volleyball and the discipline of beach volleyball, uh, not only uh, in indoor. So, you know, is there an element of the, the short athlete that maybe you look for? Is it all those same attributes of the hard work as the, um, you know, putting in the extra effort and all that sort of thing as well? Or is there a certain, or are you still chasing that tall timber? Which there is a lot of <laughs> right now here of, uh, in, uh, on the Murray River. Yeah, look, um, personally, I, I definitely don't mind looking at the, the shorter of the athletes. Um, I guess when you're looking at those, those athletes that aren't quite so tall, they're still quite tall, mind you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, those athletes that are really powerful, that, that read the game, have just got that little bit of extra, maybe extra competitiveness about them, the game smarts. Um, That's the biggest thing, right, is especially beach volleyball is that the smarts, the tactics, um, only two on the court. You can you can change and dictate how the point's going to unfold simply by where you serve it or who you serve it to, where you serve it on that person. Yeah. And, yeah, the, the smarts come into play a whole lot more, I feel, in the beach volleyball uh, part, of the, the part of the sport and um, oh, not just the indoor world. Obviously, there's, there's big, there's power, there's exciting, there's quick, yep. different style of play and stuff as well. So, no, it's... Uh, it is a big, big factor that comes to play is, uh, yeah, the head and the shoulders game, the tactics, and it's a, it's a game of patience as well, isn't it? It certainly, is. It certainly is. And, um, you know, you're in a battle, 2v2. 100%. And you've got to know how to play each, each particular point. Um, you know, as they come up here now, you know, it's, it's a game, this particular point. How, how are you going to approach it? Are you gonna, what decisions are you going to make? Um, what shot selection are you going to have? Uh, and, you know, we see Shishina um, with, a, with a nice position block there. Um, you know, you're just looking at all, all those sorts of things. How they re how players react when they lose a point. How, how do they get themselves back up when they're down? Exactly. Um, and like you mentioned, there's only two people out there as well. If one person reacts, you know, it can affect the other person, the only other person on your court. So it can yeah. change momentum. It can change things. Mm. Mate, were you ever on the sand at all? You're a two-time indoor <laughs> Olympian. Yeah. Did you ever get on the sand? Oh, look, I um, had 12 months on the sand when I was doing my year 12 in, in WA. Okay. So I uh, played, played the circuit over there with, with some guys and back when uh, Julian Prosser and Andy Burden were still together. All oh, right, okay. Uh, so, you know, used names to, there. They, they're always after people to have a hit up against or throw balls at them or whatever. So yep. spent a bit of time with them and, uh, look, I really did enjoy it. Um, back when I was coming through, though, once you got to that sort of Development level, you really had to choose one or the other. Um, there wasn't a lot of a lot of beach uh, that I could go to. Anyway, I, I fell in love with the indoor and decided to stay that side. And um, but I still enjoy getting out in the sand when I can and, and having a bit of rolling the arm over with some of the young fellas. So. Dipping, the, dipping the toes in, and probably hence why you moved to uh, Port Macquarie, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, my wife's family's from that area, so Very good. a big big shout out to all you Port Macquarians if you're listening. Um, we do miss the beaches and miss you guys, but uh, we are enjoying Canberra. Um, but yeah, look, we got got a fair bit of beach volleyball going when we we're up there, purely because we do have beautiful beaches, and um, we're silly not to use them. Yeah, and it's exciting. Like uh, you, you say, that the sport's growing in Port Macquarie. We've got uh, a few of the Port Macquarie athletes out there as well, and one of them in Timothy Ebbs now, who's down at the academy with you as well. So. Another easier, easier adjustment uh, into the academy with a familiar face in yourself. And, you know, you guys uh, were quite tight in Port Macquarie as well. So, mm. you know, what's, how's he adapting? Because um, he's always been an eager to learn athlete. And he's, he's had aspirations for a while um, now to be a part of the academy stuff. And 
A little change of tempo there from Ben Schickinger. Harley Sinclair just placing that ball on the court. But, yeah, he's had aspirations to be a part of the, the higher-level stuff, and um, he's definitely developed already in the past couple of months. Oh, he certainly has. Um, so, and there's actually another Port Macquarie boy, Jarvis Page, is down here Jarvis as well. Page, so of course. Shout out to Jarvis Page, the yeah. Page family. Yeah, so there's two of them down here. And, um, you know, but you're right, like, Tim... Ever since I think I gave him his first volleyball to have a hit around with, he, he's been very driven to see how far he could go with the sport. Um, he's fallen in love with it. And, yeah, both he and Jarvis have, have really adapted well to the full-time training load. Um, yeah, improving every time they hit the court. They're super keen, as all the boys are, awesome, and, and ladies. So, yeah, it's great, great very, to see them enjoying very it. Very exciting for sure. We've got a timeout here on the centre court. It's a four-point ball game at 18-14. And I want to see it just, I think, started to use a bit more of their experience. They've figured out what the tactics are of the young guys and they've adapted their game, which is, you know, what a couple of years more on the sand or more in the, the beach volleyball um, sport itself can can show. So, you know, Harley just then, a couple of points ago, placing that ball into the spot, causing confusion in the defence. The change of tempo on the set from Ben Shikinga to put the block out of place. Just little things like that. And you can see that's why they're the number one seeds. You know, they've multiple time winners on the New South Wales uh, youth beach tour up there. Um, prior to Harley moving down to AVA, of course. And it's great to see him pairing back up again. And the favourites, you know, clearly the number one seed, but the favourites of the under-19 competition here. But, you know, Adam Fayage doesn't go down without a fight. Absolutely. Very, very skillful player is Adam. Uh, and... Jet, his partner, very, a very uh, smart beach volleyball head on him. So you definitely know that to beat these guys, you've got to play good volleyball. So um, don't don't discount them from coming back here and, and right, making it even closer than it is already. Yeah, absolutely. And a tough serve there from Adam Fash. Harley opens up. Oh, and a net violation called as Jet was chasing. He's hungry for that block. So what do you think? Like, there's three, four-point margin, business end of the first set. Um, we see the ball control from these youngsters closest to the camera. You know, Adam with a great pass there. Jet, good hands. And just like that, you know, they do things like that, but how do they stop the big right shoulder of Harley Sinclair and or even the, the two-ball phase attack, the smarts of Ben Chickenga? Great question. Um, it'll be interesting to see who they serve here, whether they're going to change it up and, and come down the they've line been tar here. Yeah, I was going to say, they've been targeting Harley a little bit, but yeah, there we go. Perfect. Down the middle, bit of confusion. Bold strategy for Jet to pull off the net. He swings hard, but draws the blocking error as Harley Sinclair gets a net touch. So, just like that, back to within two. But it's confirmation of the call. We just need a ball in the corner. Rocket Graham milking the time to get the ball out here. As another ball comes back on, we're good. So, two-point ball game. Rocker Graham, does he go back down the middle? Short on Ben this time. Wow, athletic by Ben Schickinger. He did, he worked so, so hard. He scooped deep out of the sand, get up, put away the ball, took on the defense and credit to him. He's brought up a set point for the number one seeds. What to do here? Does he go on Jet? Or does he go on Adam and try and make a defensive play, knowing that Adam's going to be more than likely placing a shot? Yeah, I'd say he's going to go down the line to, to Adam, um, but we'll see what they do here. Oh, you called it. That's a great pick up there by Adam. Plenty of time. Oh, just sneaks past the block. Keeps it alive. Ben's read it, though. Out of system defense now for the number one seeds. And Rocket Graham with a finesse. Very clever. Well, they, did, they had to work hard to keep that point alive and to stay in that set because it was a great first serve from Ben. So now Adam, he's got a good serve on him as well. A little bit of a breeze coming across the court. Set point opportunity number two. Going on Sinclair. Perfect pass. Wrap around. No block. Jet gets the dig. Good play. Cut shot. Ben's there this time, though. No block. Opportunity now. Dave Tickler, Adam gets it inside out. Pokey defense. Again, no block. Oh, he's misfired on the drop shot. And we're back to within one, and Harley Sinclair calls a timeout for the number one seeds. The hustle beauty of Adam Fayesh, Rocker Graham. 
Yeah, so I say they you never discount them. They'll they'll even though they they uh, give away a little bit in size and age, they're like the little barking Jack Russell that you, that you, <laughs> you know. Everyone's they'll, favorite family dog. <laughs> they'll never <laughs> never stop. You know, you've re- really got to to shut them out of the game um, by dominating them because they'll, they'll just keep coming back at you. So I had a good good time out by um, Harley calling that one there. Just take a breather and reset, come back and Absolutely. try and finish the set out. Yeah, see if they can break the momentum. Mate, the, uh, the Beardy Clan, most of them have moved down to Canberra with you. Is there any uh, future Olympians in that, in the mix? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who knows, mate? They, I really just want them to love their sport. And if uh, they, they all love volleyball at the moment, um, amongst other sports. So, yeah, look, uh, yeah, they, they go all right, mate. Um, they're they enjoy their sport. They're great teammates. Um, yeah, Jesse's just moved up to Sydney for uni, so he's looking forward to getting involved a bit more in the beach scene in Sydney. And Yeah, um, absolutely. Oh, and an ace serve out of Fayesh. We are level now, Beardy. 20 Yo. points apiece. That's incredible. That's So a tactical timeout, we thought, <laughs> for Harley and Ben. But now we go beyond 21. The first team to get the two-point advantage will take this first set. And mm-hmm. This very, is exciting. It was very clever. He went down the middle, caused a bit of confusion between the two passes. And, the uh, old hubby wife. Not twice, though. Sends it long. So, yeah. An opportunity once more for the number one seed. It'll be Sinclair to serve to get it done. I think he goes on jet this time. No, down the middle. Adam takes it. Good hands. Tight, though. Yeah, big ask. So that'll get it done. Number one seeds eventually taking the first set, 22 points to 20, but an exciting second set coming. David Beard, yes. thank you so much for your time, mate. We appreciated having you in the commentary booth. Words of wisdom and, you know, welcome to the Australian Volleyball Academy. It's one of our head coaches, and uh, we're looking forward to the, the next generation of our athletes uh, under your guidance. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a privilege and an honour, and I... Uh, I hope I can do a good do a good job with them, mate. Mate, I've heard good things already. So thanks again for your time, and we might have a bit more of a chat as the competition unfolds. But uh, all the best for the rest of the year. Thank you. Cheers, Beauty. Thanks, mate. Welcome back. We're live for the second set. And it's a two-nil start for the number one seeds. Pushed to the absolute edge. In that first set, the number one seeds, under 19 boys, winning 22 points to 20. As Adam and Jet on the far side worked really hard, hustling in defense, really smart serving, and just never went away it's fantastic to have a chat to our australian volleyball academy head coach one of our head coaches david beard recently appointed in that position two-time national team indoor volleyball olympian back in 2000 sydney when sydney hosted sinclair down the middle of the court and then on to athens the 2004 Olympic Games as well. 
Three one on the scoreboard to kickstart the second set. You see a little bit more fire from Sinclair and Shikinka as Ben gets an easy scoop, no block. Puts it away rightfully. So four one now in this second set. Could be a very different set of volleyball here. We could see the number one seeds really turn up the tempo, try different things just to throw the defense out of whack. Or we could see the fighting spirit we saw from the young guns of Adam Fayesh and Jet Rocker Graham. Jet just sends that one a little bit wide. It was a good set, the eyes lit up. But it's a tough ask. That tight at the net to beat Harley Sinclair. So 5 1. Early days in the second set. Ball goes long over the shoulder. First end change in the second set. Two serving five. And one seed's in the lead. Confirmation of serve, Adam Fayesh. Couple of aces last set. So he's got the story here. As he goes down, another ace serve on cue. Thank you, Adam Fayesh. Mate, couldn't have helped the commentary any better. An ace serve, beating Harley Sinclair. Just inside the sideline. Three serving five. He goes on Ben this time. High ball. Adam gets a dig. Transition opportunity now. No block. Takes on the retreating blocker. And Adam Fayesh brings it back to within one. This young man, his skills are on point in this match. If Jet can go with him, even plays a supporting role, whatever it may be, Adam is on at the moment. No errors. Simple volleyball. They'll really push it. The number one seeds once again. And now we're level as Ben Schickinga sends it wide. Five points all. Fayesh back to the serve, leveling things up, five points all. Down the middle and a touch a serve. Absolutely in full control. Timeout called by the number one seeds as Adam Fayesh and Jet Rocker Graham take the lead 6 5 early days in the second set. Back live, underway. Sinclair. Loud bangs. It hits the commentary booth. Bit of power behind that ball. Six points all. Snaps it down the line. Level playing field. Six all. Going on Adam once more. Good hands from Jet. Tight. Adam Fayesh opens up the shoulder. Good dig. And sends it long on two. Adam Fayesh, confidence riding high. Great set there from Jet Rocker Graham. Opened up the opportunities and Adam decided to take it on. Jet serve short on Ben. Ah, defensive position's good. Adam couldn't convert. Seven all on the change. So 
So what I want to see, day one, under 19 boys competition. For the second stop of the Australian Junior Beach Volleyball Tour. Adam takes that ball high in the middle. Jet with the back set. Adam poking down the line. Out of system. If Adam gets a block here, it could be... Oh, he gets a touch. He just sends it wide. Oh, the mismatch there of Sinclair and Fesh. Oh, that could have been all time. He just sends it wide, though. So number one seed to get the lead back again. Interruption of ball from the under-21 boys' court. Sinclair will serve again. Looks like he went on Jet just then. No, he's gone back down, Adam. Oh. And rare error there from Adam Fayesh. And a tough serve from Sinclair. So a two-point buffer now, 9-7. On Jet. Opportunity now to side out. Shot down the line is good. High snap. Really nice play there. Hasn't been served for the majority of the match. And when he gets his opportunity, he sides out well. We mentioned it earlier. When Adam or your partner, whoever's playing on the court, if your partner is on, play the supporting role. And it's simple as not making errors, taking the opportunities when they come. And Jet Rocker Graham does so. Eight, nine. And an uh, ace served by Adam Fish. Nine all. Down the line on Sinclair. Steps in, no block, deep into the court, tags the baseline. Great shot. You have to work hard to get that. It's a little bit low for the big man. As he gets an equipment check, first referees. Offering the sunglass cleaning services. Free of charge, of course. We look after our athletes here on the tour. So double figures, 10-9 lead for the number one seeds. She can go back to the serve. Off pace shot. Couldn't quite be controlled by Shikinga. Tenel. <whistles> Jet Rocker Graham goes on Sinclair. Down the line is good from Sinclair. Technical timeout of the second set, 11 points to 10, number one seeds lead into the break. Back, perfect timing out of the technical timeout. Miss Sinclair serves on Adam Rocker on two. No block. Defensive touch, but too good. Fesh is in a good defensive position. That ball there probably could have taken it on his platform, but decided to take it high and couldn't quite control it. So 12 points on the board now for the number one seeds. Sinclair, the tape tickler, gets an ace. Three-point buffer. Biggest lead for them in this set. Any change of tactics there. They go down the line. 
on Fayash. He just sends it wide. It's now a four-point ball game. They just need to side out. Need one. Go back and serve. They've had great service pressure all match long. Sinclair now serving. They're alternating where they serve, but it's because Adam and Jet are alternating the sides that they receive on. And Oh, he's a wall up there. <laughs> Big grin on the face. A bit of emotion from Harley Sinclair. Rarely seen. He's having some fun out there on center court now. Timeout called by Jet Rocker Graham and Adam Fayish. Five-point ball game, 15-10. Business end. We're getting towards the business end of the second set here on center court. Welcome to Sporty's Baruga. Our bistro is open every day, serving up all of your favorites. Or try our cafe for cakes and slices, barista coffee, breakfast and lunch. Sporty's Baruga, it's your local club. The Ultimate Family Playground is at Sporties with 18 holes of challenging and fun mini golf. Play a quick nine or make a day of it with breakfast, lunch and dinner options. Open seven days. Have a great day out with Sporties Mini Golf. Back into it. The ball just going wide. Rocket Graham loves it. Tactical timeout. Paying off for the young guns. Adam Fayish back to the service. He looks to get maybe another couple of aces to his name in this match. 11 serving 15. He goes high on Ben Schickinger. Jet pulls. Gets the dig. Opportunity now. Good hands. Oh, just a little bit messy on the final execution of that set. He did so well to get his hands there, but just didn't quite finish it. Would have been an amazing play, but 16-11. A lifted ball called on that last play. Into the net it goes from Ben Chikinga, keeping the young guns in touch. And change, 16-12. They serve on Harley Sinclair. Change of tempo. Adam gets it. Chasing it down. As, no, Jet. He's so close. Gets a touch. Just has a bit of a rest while he's down there. So 17-12. Sinclair will go to the serve. Number one seed in control. Serving Fayash. Good hands by Rocket Graham. Sneaks it through. Sinclair gets a touch. Ben on to high. Sinclair throws it back with the right hand. On to now. Sinclair hammers it down. Another cheeky smile. You can see the finish line just a couple of points away. 18-12. And a touch day serve. Sinclair taking control. At the business end of this second set. He wants to get off the sand. He wants to get his recovery done. Big matches on day two of the Australian Junior Beach Volleyball Tour here on the mighty Murray River on the border of Victoria, New South Wales. Here in Australia. If you are viewing from around the world, this is the second stop. Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. First stop in Mooloolaba on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. And this one of the most unique locations for beach volleyball, the biggest inland beach in Australia. He overplays and a net touch call by our first official, one of the best in the business up on the stands there. Sticking around off the back of the Cobram Baruga Classic, first round of the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. Wrapping up just yesterday afternoon as we crowned our first senior cha champions of the 2022 summer. So 13 serving 19 here back for the under 19s division. Ben Shikengar sends it long. No touch off the block. Kind of asked the question to the referee. And, you know, 
Sydney, yeah. We might get the Snicko out, but it's all right. Another point on the board. 14 now. Adam Fayesh again. So this time goes on Ben. Ben with a great pass. Harley, good bump. Jet pulls it off. Gets another dig. Can he play the supporting role? High line. Ben full stretch. No, the shot is good. Deep into the corner. Really nice. So back within four now. And you can see she can go there. Just checking out the score. Knowing that they're one side out away from a match point. I just need a pass. Fayesh to serve. In the middle. Hi, this time transitioning through. This gets a touch on the block. They go around 15 points for young Jet Rocker Graham and Adam Fayesh. And a match point for your number one seeds, Ben Schickinger and Harley Sinclair. So, the first match point opportunity for the number one seeds to get it done here. Schickinger to the serve. Fayesh with the pass. Jet with the hands. Adam Fayesh. Very confident swing in the business end at a crucial time in this second set. We've got 16 points on the board. One back, one match point saved. And one seeds. A side out away from clinching the second set in the match. They've been pushed here. Jet Rocker Graham serves on Harley. Block point. Down the line. No, that ball. Lands in. That'll get it done. Number one seeds taking the match. Two sets to love. 22-20, 21-16. A great effort out there from Adam Fayage and Jet Rocker Grand. They should hold their heads high. A few little errors creating their game, but a little bit of experience outdid them in this match. As ben Schickinger, Harley Sinclair, the number one seeds, the under-19 boys division. Get it done here for the last match of the day here. And round two of the Australian Junior Beach Volleyball Championships. Tour, not championship, sorry, tour. It's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in, joining us from wherever you are, whether it's around Australia or the